Uh, I'm Piers Campbellidge. Um, I have been working in investing, private equity investing in emerging markets for a number of years. At the moment, I and some partners are working together to build an investment manager investing in sustainable agriculture, primarily in Africa and Latin America. It's a company called Global Sustainable Capital Management based in London. It's the pitch is the most important part um, of you actually making first contact with an investor. People talk about elevator pitches, they talk about your 30 second elevator pitch. Don't worry about that. The most important thing is really preparing for the main meeting you're going to have with the investor. And for that you've got to be really well prepared. Um, it's not a question of sending out your raw Excel spreadsheets. You've got to put together a presentation that is going to catch the investor's imagination. You've got to wow them. And so you've got to tell a story. And that story is very personal. It's the story of how you found the business, how you had the idea, why you want to build this business, and how you're going to do it. And that's the most important piece of the pitch. You come to the numbers later. There's going to be lots of financial detail. If the investors are excited, they'll dig into that and there'll be due diligence going through it in all sorts of levels of detail. But the most important thing is tell them the story. You've got to show them that you have a vision, that you know what it is, that you've got a strategy for the business, and then build trust with them. You've got to build trust that you really understand it. So you've got to go into enough detail for them to think that you are someone who is reliable, someone they can have confidence in to actually run this business, to pick it up, run the business, take their money, invest it well, make money for yourself and for them. And in order to do that, you're going to have to, you're going to have to tell them about the detail, but don't sweat it at the first point. Tell the story, put in some key numbers, key facts, the scale is going to be particularly important because that's helping them to understand where you fit in their universe and where you fit in the whole product and market universe. And so work through a few points of detail, but don't go over detailed. Don't go long winded on the detail. Just that's going to come later. That'll come towards the back end of it. The first thing really in that pitch then is um, the picture, the overall story. The next thing, next key thing is the team. Who are you? Who am I who wants to actually run this business? Who are the people who are going to do it with me? Who's my CFO? Who's the person in charge of the product? Who's actually going to make it? Uh, who's going to sell it? And how do we work together? That's also absolutely critical. Um, and that story is something, again, that is very personal. It's conveying to the investor how strong you are, how comfortable you are with your partners, how well you know each other. We'll come on to the detail of the team a little bit later, but, uh, and, and it's a very important part of the overall pitch to the investors. But you've got to get that across fairly early on in your conversation with them. Um, so perhaps you know, well, a way of remembering it is don't go into the how much right at the beginning. You go into the what, the why, and the who. And those are absolutely critical. Then you can start to go into the when, which is all about your timelines, how long it's going to take you to build the business, and you go into the, then you go into the how much as well. You go into the how, the operational side of it, but the how much, which is really going to be the detail of the numbers. But again, in your first pitch to the investors, the first presentation to them, that is not the most important thing. That's at the back of your pack. It's not at the front of your pack. Then, as you're talking to the investors, you need to try and engage them to understand what it is that they want. Um, look for and ask them questions about what sort of investments they do, why they do those investments. Show them at the same time, though, that you've researched them. You know all about them. You've done your research. You've probably spoken to other companies they've invested in. They've got to have a sense that you have come really prepared to the meeting, that you know that you're going to be um, uh, you know, trying to persuade them, but at the same time, you want them to persuade you that they are the right people to invest in you. Ask them questions about the value they create. Ask them questions about how they work with investors. They will have different views. They will have different stories to tell you. Um, 
And you need to make sure that those stories are ones that you're confident with as well. It's, it's a two-way process. Yes, at the beginning you're selling your story to them, but you're then asking them to come towards you. Um, remember, investors are going to be around with you for a few years. It's three years, five years, longer than that even. And you've got to feel very comfortable that they're going to be a part of your business's life. Um, and so you can ask them some fairly probing questions. And probably the final really key piece in all of this is don't be in a hurry. Yes, you want your money urgently. Every, invest, every entrepreneur wants their money tomorrow. But don't be in a hurry. And above all, don't hustle. Don't be arrogant. Don't come across as, I know what I need. I'm great. If you don't want to come along, I've got plenty of other people waiting for me. That's the first way, fastest way to turn off the investors. They'll just walk out the room and you won't see them anymore. Don't be in a hurry. Be patient. You're building a relationship. And you want them to be saying, yeah, this guy was nice. We'd like this person to come back. Um, be, you know, be, be, be very open and honest with them. Um, talk about if you are in a hurry because you need the money urgently. Say that you are, but at the same time, don't try and pressure them. Say, yes, and I'm talking to the banks. I'm looking at getting money out of the banks. I've got a line which may come through. I hope that it'll come through in time. Um, but at the same time, I'm talking to you because I know you're going to take your time doing your investment diligence, and I want to start that process now. Um, ask them also about their process and timelines. Ask them, how do you do it? What is your process? When are your investment committees? How long does it normally take you? Um, Again, without trying to hustle them on it, but just in order to get from them the clear understanding so that you know how they are going to be able to come in and help you at the right time. Let, let, let me finish this section then by really highlighting the key points um, that I've been making just now. Firstly, tell the story. Concentrate on telling a coherent story. Secondly, use that story to build trust with the investor, for the investor to feel really confident that you know what you're on about, you know your business, and you know how you're going to run that business over a number of years in order to make money. Thirdly, don't focus too much on the detail of the numbers at the moment. Yes, you need to show that you are in control and you, you actually know them, but at the same time, don't spend too much time on that detail. That's going to come out in later due diligence and much more detailed discussions with the investors. And final point, ask the investors, have a conversation with them, ask the investors how they're going to approach your pitch, how they're going to approach your proposal, how it is, how long, what their process is, what their timelines are.